Hey guys, hello! In every walking simulator, people expect nice footsteps that change depending on the surface you're walking on. And, what? Well, no footsteps? Yeah, because today I will show you my way of how I implement footsteps. Um, I'm gonna explain the commonalities between all the footstep implementations and I'm gonna show you a way on how to change footstep sounds using a volume. So first thing first, I hope that you know that how to bring sounds into the Unreal Engine. You can just drag drop and create sound cue or don't, whatever, it's up to you. Pretty easy stuff. The next thing to know is that every sound event in the game needs an event to happen. Yeah, something happens, then we can play a sound. These events can be, for example, uh, animation notifies, like in my case here. Or if you look at Zach from Unreal Engine, he has this Unreal Engine blueprint training live stream somewhere where he explains how he uses a timer for that, like delays, and uh, I've used that method in my binaural cave showcase. Okay, so check it. Uh, in my case I'm using animations, so in the animation blueprint I could use the, I could spawn the sounds right here, but I want to keep things organized inside the first person character blueprint, which is why I'm casting to it. If you don't know what casting is, just um, research blueprint communication. You can do the same stuff just here, okay? I have notifies for footsteps, um, foley and jump. So I'm casting to the character and I'm firing off custom events inside the blueprint. But you can also just um, do everything that I show in a couple of minutes inside this blueprint. If you're using animations. So, let's look at the code. So the footstep comes in. And this is just a custom event I created, never mind. Footstep event comes in and I'm checking for something because I want to know if the character is actually on any floor that's walkable, okay? Because if we are in the air, we don't want any sound to play. Is the current floor walkable? Yes. Then please continue with this blueprint. So um, one of the most common ways to change footstep sounds is by tracing for the material below the character. Um, this is a function that I created. I mean, you can just... Uh, select stuff and collapse the function so that you don't, you only have to do it one time and then you can call it anytime. And inside this function we are doing the typical line trace by channel stuff. It's like a laser pointer going from point A to point B. Point A in this case is just the center of our component. Point B is 1 meter and 80 below the component. I just keep the trace nice and short. Um, and we get an output. Okay, From this output we can get surface and this will output our surface type. What is a surface type? Good question, dear friends. A surface type is being set up in project settings, physical surface, and you can set up your surface types here. These are physical surface types which can be assigned to physical materials, which then can be assigned to materials. Okay, so set these things up, restart your Unreal Engine, because if you don't restart it and you create your physical material, all you will see here is default. But since I have restarted, I see rock, wood and water. I hope that makes sense so far. Okay, let's continue. You set up your physical materials and it's important to assign the material that we are walking on to a physical material, so to speak. Okay, this is something that your art department will do if you let them know, hey, I need physical material, this and that. I mean, they will probably do it themselves for whatever reason, but if you don't have that, check out the material and check out the physical material right here, which is, in my case, I want it to be rock. Now the material is... Uh, no, don't save. No need to save. Material is being set up, and now if we trace for it, it will output the material from which we can get the physical material from which we can get information on which footstep to play. Holy shit, that was complicated, man. But, output, get surface type, bam, back to the uber code. <laughs> so, I'm doing something here, I'm branching, uh, I'm checking if the player is inside the water volume, because if he is, I do not want to continue with normal code. I will show you that later. Um, so, this is a pretty cool variable type, okay? This is a type of a dictionary, like a map, and you can, uh, with, specific, with specific variable types, you can create this, um, this mode. Like, it's not possible with booleans, because it's just 1 and 0, but for a lot of other things it's possible to, in my case, assign the surface materials to a integer. This integer is important. Why? Because, of course, you can do the old-school 
uh, old school way of you know getting the live straight by channel, get surface type, switch on the physical surface, and then you see your materials here, your surfaces here, and spawn individual sound cues. I, for my part, I don't want to end up with this only because I have like 12 surfaces. So I put all my surfaces for footsteps into one sound cue. So we have some rock, some wood, some water, and a switch, which switches which sound will be played based on the integer it will get. One, two, and three. So, pretty cool. If we check out our map, uh, where is it? If we check our map, it's one, two, and four, because uh, I will show you something later. So rock is one, wood is two, water will be three later, but not for now. Okay, so we have traced for the material, we have used the dictionary to find the integer of the physical surface, and now we're gonna set the variable of footstep material. Next thing is we're gonna spawn a sound, which is in this case my big combined sound cue, attach it to whatever component we want to attach it to, and at the same time we want to set a foot we want to set the integer surface inside the sound cue to whatever the footstep material integer was set to. Holy shit, that's a complicated question, man. But that's pretty much it. You get an event, you check if it's in the floor, you trace for surface, you use some kind of way to uh, the surface means this, okay, like this one, and spawn a sound. So, and it works pretty nicely. But what about this volume? Okay. You can use volumes to set specific parameters. For example, um, this is just a normal volume. And once the player enters the volume, I'm checking checking if it's actually the first person character because that's this is the blueprint of my character where I'm doing the footsteps. And I'm setting is inside water volume boolean, okay? This means that if the boolean is set to true, this branch will go to false. Okay, this is why we don't hear footsteps because it's not spawning anything. And um, the next point is I'm changing the footstep material. So if the player is inside volume, the footstep material is three for water. And if he's outside, it's zero for nothing. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Let's see how this works. If we just um, bypass this one here, okay, it's not, you see, if, if I'm inside the volume, this code is not being executed, it's being bypassed and the sound is being played with the footstep type integer being set in the level blueprint here. Let's see how it sounds like. Nice. Okay, so all we did is just made sure that if we are inside the volume, still we get a spawn sound attached. And it's really important, right? Um, the physical trace has nothing to do with it, because it's uh, going from the true, and also because it's set to 4, and not 3, like water in my case, okay? So this is pretty much it, fellas. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna fix it right away. I mean, I don't know, I don't need to use the volume, I just wanted to show you that. So I'm gonna switch this integer to 3, and it's gonna work. Let's go. No, it's not working. Why not? Okay, it's time to debug in real time. So, ah, yeah, of course, because this condition is still, work still working. Okay, we need to cut that as well. Okay. Now it will work. Okay, pretty cool. So today we learned that every footstep sound needs an event. Then you have a couple of ways to determine which footstep sound to play, either by tracing from materials, or using volumes inside your level, or however the fuck you want to do it. Basically, you just need some information for your sounds, okay? And that's pretty much it. I hope that it helped you. Uh, it's pretty hard to keep these tutorials like super noob style-like, because um, you need to know a little bit about game development to better understand what's going on. But for me personally, I'm no programmer, I'm also struggling with Blueprint and learning just step by step by step. And I encourage you to do the same. Yeah, but this works. And this is nice. And it feels pretty uh, pretty sweet. Like, it's not like this huge, uh, huge node, um, node salad, if you know what I mean. Blueprint spaghetti. So yeah, 
I hope this helps. Hit me up on the Discord if you have any questions and enjoy your day, fellas. Bye-bye.